hello everyone today i'm gonna show you how to create this uh, three-way junction with the traffic light system now as you can see here these two lights uh, on the sides are green that means vehicles can go and it's uh, for the pedestrians this is blocked so it's red and this light also uh, was red now it's green so that means pedestrians can cross this side and you can see here this part is red now so traffic can't uh, traffic is not allowed through these sections now it is allowed and cars can go here now and pedestrians are allowed on this side so yeah this is simple simulation of uh, traffic system traffic lights for a three-way junction that's what we are going to work on today and also you can see here I have placed uh, uh, only a single traffic light we already had this implemented and tested so you can use it as a single traffic light as well and you can use them together as well alright so before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from the patron page link would be in the description below and the traffic light system I originally worked on this unreal character interaction system as a part of unreal character interaction system you can watch all these episodes as well and also the cars are coming from this unreal engine ai cars tutorial series i did so here actually the cars were designed from for you can see the traffic related episodes here as well so cars were designed more toward uh, a racing system initially so they can get a bit competitive uh, not exactly for like pedestrian city driving uh, car AI but this system works but you can optimize it uh, I can actually I need to actually optimize work on work more on that to adapt it to a city environment so yeah let's see how to do this traffic part today okay so this is the level that we have so far now if I enable the nav mesh you can see this red part is where the nav mesh is blocked for characters and the green part or these parts are where the character can walk on now you can see this part is allowed this part is allowed but other parts of the road is red so they are blocked so now I'm going to show you how to use the same blueprints and the systems that we have already created and make this turn this uh, junction into a two-way junction to two whatever the junction that have two uh, two of these so let me duplicate this and place here like this now if i enable the now mesh you can see it's still blocked now let me duplicate this also and place it like this so we have the crossing also here so we can now modify the now mesh so here this block part let me select this now mesh modifier you can see here it's a now modifier volume it's a blocking volume for the navigation so i'll make it I'll move it aside so that we can get space here and also we still need to block this middle area so let me duplicate the same now mesh blocker and make it smaller so people will not walk in the middle okay now if I remove the navigation mesh uh, visualization maybe I should move it here 
Okay, now for each of these uh, crosswalk traffic lights, I have a collision. Uh, oh, well, maybe we should rename this instead of simply calling this block box. Maybe let's call it traffic collider. Now, for this, I'll make the traffic collider smaller and move to a place like this. Okay, and in the same way, I select the traffic collider of this traffic light, make it a bit smaller and move it like this. Right now, uh, since these are automated here, this is uh, it's not automated. Yeah, I need to automate this if because only if I automate this, I can sync this. I can synchronize these two traffic lights. That mean by syncing, what I mean is if this is red, this also needs to be red so we can allow people to cross. Okay, so if I go here, event drop, I call this automate lights. If this is automated, I call the automate lights event. So basically, this is what happens there. Let's promote these two variables. And this go means go for vehicles. So vehicle go duration. This is 30 by default and this one pedestrian cross duration okay and if I keep those values well here let's make them visible so when I do that As long as these values are similar for these uh, traffic lights, they will be synchronized. And here also I have a separate type, uh, traffic light. And if you want to uh, have a different, uh, when this becomes green, if you don't want to sync this with other traffic lights, maybe we can We can have a delay here, another delay. And I'll call it uh, light start offset. And I'll keep it zero, well, I'll keep it zero by default. And here also let's make it visible so if you want to have some difference where as for when the lights starts automating you uh, when the lights becomes red and green and if you don't want to sync with other traffic lights in the world simply you can have some offset here like this okay now if i play the game here you see one guy is waiting here both are green Let's give it a second well actually we need to wait at least 30 seconds yeah now see both becomes red 
and pedestrians can cross and the other light is still green because it's not synced with these two okay so let me just cross and it becomes red now i can cross uh, vehicles can go all right so that's simple we didn't do much of a change to the existing system but we can have uh, two synchronized light now lights now uh, okay right now in the same way if you need another light for this you can simply duplicate this and connect maybe more here yeah now um, let's say uh, when these lights are green this should be red so if you want to do that this is what you can do so for these lights uh, vehicle to go duration is 30 pedestrian cross duration is 15 and the light start offset is zero now here I'll set light start offset to 30 hold on what's the initial state let's go okay so I'll promote this also to a variable initial state also public now here I I well I don't really need to um, it doesn't really matter the initial state here because there is no light start offset but for this we do need the initial offset of not go that means false and uh, vehicle go duration should be 15 seconds and the pedestrian cross duration can be 30 seconds and the uh, light start offset let's say yeah 30 so this syncs up as long as the vehicles are crossing here pedestrians can cross this light should remain red let's see if this works uh, instead of flame i'll simulate Why it's not red all right here we have a check if it already checks against uh, the vehicle go so vehicle go is also false at the beginning so it's not updating the lights mm. well just as a simple work around set vehicle go to not Boolean of initial state just to force updating. Right. Right, it's red now. So pedestrians can cross this side. Let's wait. And once the other side becomes green, this uh, once this side becomes green red, this should become green, and pedestrians should be blocked. Let's see if that syncs up. Yeah, see, this is green, this is red, and pedestrians can 
can't cross this because crossing is not allowed now okay <laughs> by the way these uh, cars are not exactly designed for uh, pedestrian and traffic system they were designed for a race so that's why they kind of bump into each other uh, maybe we will work on that later on so yeah now it's just the traffic lights here the focus is so okay uh, now using the same approach we can create a four-way junction as well but we might want to rethink how the cars would respond the, for the pedestrians it would be fine but for the cars we might need to rethink because we need a way to determine let's say if a car is going to approach from here and take a left turn then we have to think how we need to add that into the simulation of the car's vehicle traffic. So maybe I'll leave that for a separate episode. Okay, so thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of Patreon Club. Also, as always, you can let me know if there are any bugs and issues that you have encountered by following these episodes. I'll address them. Just let me know them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next episode. And thank you.